welcome to DCC, I'm Molly and today we're making beef lasagna. Let's go and wash our hands. So we've got fresh fingers. So today the ingredients are we've got um, minced beef and we've added two shots of pork into it. We've got basil oil and we've also put fresh basil in it. And we've left that to soak overnight and we've got two tablespoons of tomato puree, one, one uh, onion and one garlic and then uh, we've got some lasagna sheets here and um, in a short while um, the DCC best chef and all around number my dad you can put these all around again let's get cooking as promised guys my dad's coming so here he is So, what an entrance for me. Uh, so I'm going to make uh, a bechamel sauce. So it's a white sauce, but it's going to be a cheese sauce. So first we're going to make a roux. And this is for the top of the lasagna. We've got two tablespoons of butter. What we're going to do, we're just going to melt that down very slowly. While we're waiting, the pork that's in the meat, I'm going to just have a quick swig. When you're working with kids, it drives you to it, trust me. That's beautiful. While that's melting, we've had on a pan of milk that we've warmed very, very slowly. And we're going to add that to a sauce. So come back to it when butter's melted. Right, so now that we've put it down, what we're going to do now, just keep it on a lowish heat. We're going to add plain flour and we're going to make a roux. So we just add two tablespoons to start with. Put it off the heat. What? No. Oh. Go lump it. It was hot. Okay, move it. We'll just keep adding this milk until it gets to a sauce by the texture. Leave that for a couple of minutes. We'll come back to it and we'll see what it looks like. 
So this is what it looks like when it's done. Nice tall um, cheese or melon. So let's have a try it like that. Uh, absolutely perfect. Um, but that's me done for today. So I'll see you next time on the next episode of DCC. And thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know if it's happened in midlife crisis or what, but I'm sorry about that. Well, I'll forgive him for making the cheese for us. Let's try it. Mmm, really nice. So, now we need to fry up our meat. garlic and your onion in. And then keep on mixing until it's cooked nicely. So, um, when you're cooking it, you can really, really smell the pork and it's mixing in with the basil and the onion and um, still add a bit of the pork to it just for me dad and that will also mix in with the garlic and the pork and all the other stuff it smells so beautiful so now we want to add some uh, oxos and red stock and what, it's one of each and then you want to add some tomato puree and then um, mix it and you can really really smell the pot and the everything in it it smells really really nice look it's lovely So now we're going to add some, um, some chopped tomatoes in and we're going to add two cans of them Keep on mixing Look how rich and nice that looks smell is coming off of it so I'm just gonna have a little taste of it mmm all the flavours are bursting through and it really complements all the flavours but it's really nice so now you need to leave it to simmer for five to ten minutes on a low heat but always keep on stirring so this is one that we've just done and we're going to show you how to do it right now so the first thing that you want to do is you want to fill it up with the beef, not too much though, just to fill the bottom. That's how much you need. Right. And then you want to get one of these and split it in half. Put it right in the middle. It doesn't matter if it doesn't get filled because it um, won't harm it or anything. And um, when you look at it, it actually looks really good. And then you want to fill it up again. Not too much. And 
And then after, let's put another one on and halve it and put it in the middle. strings of cheese to put on top and that will be your perfect lasagna and you can add a bit more if you want to and that's your perfect lasagna so we've done the lasagnas and we're going to put them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and we're going to put it on 160 degrees Leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes to cook. We never waste anything on DCC. So we're going to freeze this um, cheese sauce and we can have a nice portion of macaroni cheese uh, with spaghetti or pasta. So this is what the finishing result looks like. So now I'm going to get my dad to try it. You get my dad now. Dad! Don't forget to subscribe and um, take photos of any um, recipes you've tried and send them to us. Hashtag DCC and we're on Facebook and YouTube. Bye!